Welcome to this month's General Engineering Pro News Roundup. My name is Rebecca and here are the top stories. A UK dye recycling startup has received a grant for €200,000 as part of a global change award given by the H&M Foundation. Conventional methods of fabric dyeing use immense amounts of water and risk the release of toxic dye chemicals into the environment. The startup's creators believe dye recycles approach is the first circular dye process that reduces the chance of water pollution and builds recycling technology for the sector. Mexico Pacific and China's Zhejiang Energy have signed a long-term sales and purchase agreement. Under the agreement, Zhejiang Energy will purchase 1 million tonnes of LNG annually on a free onboard basis over 20 years. Australia has declared its second zone to host 5 gigawatts of offshore wind turbines. The zone in the Pacific Ocean stretches over 1,800 square kilometres between Swansea and Port Stephens and, if fully developed, could produce electricity for around 4.2 million homes. Researchers at Tulane University have developed a new AI tool that can tell you if a fruit fly is hungry, sleepy or even singing. Dubbed MAFTA, the system uses a camera and newly developed software to track and identify complex interactive behaviours of individual flies within a larger group. Humans and fruit flies share around 60% of the same DNA, and scientists have used fruit flies for over a century to decode mysteries of inheritance and immunity. Norwegian thermal energy storage firm Kyoto Group AS has successfully connected to the local grid its first full-scale molten salt thermal energy storage system in Denmark. The facility, developed under Kyoto's heat cube brand, is in the city of Aalborg and later this month it is expected to start circulating molten salt to discharge steam from the generator, which is the final step of the commissioning. And finally, operations have begun on Kuwait's multi-billion Al Zor refinery. This will be the third unit by the state-owned Kuwait Integrated Petroleum Industries Company and has boosted the company to its maximum output capacity of 615,000 barrels per day. That's all we've got time for today. Don't forget to follow us on LinkedIn at NES Furcroft for your daily dose of engineering news, career advice and job vacancies. See you next time for our engineering news roundup.